Alright, we working in the key of B flat. Huh? Don't ask me what it was. It was just in Kia B flat, okay? Kia B flat, Kia B flat. Listen, today's lesson is over the key of B flat. All right, we did a lesson. Um, it seems like it had a great reception. We did a lesson on the key of C and and the number system. We're gonna be learning the number system. So maybe, uh, maybe this is the first video you're seeing of ours. And um, so maybe you wonder what's going on. But listen, there is something they call the Nashville number system. Okay. And now I don't want you to be scared of music theory. I don't want you to be scared of the number system. I don't want you to be scared of any key that we play in. OK, I want you to be able to understand and to be able to move within any key and play this whole guitar. All right. And listen, as we learn the number system, we'll learn a universal language All right, that we have. And no matter what uh, what what instrument you play, no matter where you go or what band you're joining if you you all can communicate over the nashville number system and you know what key you're in hey y'all can make some music and have a great time it makes things easier um it also makes it easier to learn within keys okay um and this is simple basic music theory 101 lesson okay look man this is gonna be fun okay this is gonna be great we learning the key of b flat don't be scared of the sharps and flats okay don't be scared of the sharps and flats you can't play in key of c your whole life all right you can't play in key of c listen if you've been using a capo and th there's nothing wrong with using a capo i don't even own one but if you've been using a capo and you feel like that is cramping you and, and hindering your growth, this is the lesson for you. OK, if, if you've been having to look up songs and you realize there's a flat or a sharp in it and you're afraid of it, this is the song for you. We're going to have to learn some bar chords now. We're going to have to learn some bar chords. OK, we're going to have to learn some bar chords, but I don't want you to be afraid. This lesson can even be for if you just picked up the guitar for the first time and you want to play. This is the lesson for you, okay? This is foundational, fundamental uh, standards of playing guitar, okay? All right, look, we're in key of B flat, all right? B flat, okay? But if we were just playing single notes, it could be here, all right? It could also be here, all right? Listen, there are, it could be, uh, what's this? There are, listen, there are B flats all over this fretboard, okay? The goal today is to get you to where you are comfortable within the key of B flat. All right. So most songs have a key signature. I say most because sometimes songs change keys, but most songs have a key signature. 
once you know that key signature, all right, then you are on your path and on your way to learning that song. OK, now you can learn a song by by looking up the chords and everything like that. But it's much better if you have an understanding of how that song works. That's what we're learning today. So um, the number system. All right. Whatever key you're in is the one. So we're in key of B flat. So B flat is one. Now, there's a pattern that we're going to follow. All right. And this will apply to any key. If you make that key signature, whatever key you're talking, if it's E flat, then you can make E flat the one. All right. But this pattern will follow through any key. Now, we're going to upload and, and do bring some more keys to you just in case there's that person that's coming along. But you can learn these things on your own. I don't want you to be limited to just a lesson. OK, you can learn this on your own while you're practicing your guitar. Let me get into it. I've, I've been doing all this talking. Golly, y'all been surviving for six minutes off of talking. Some of you fast forwarded already just to get right here to this point. OK, so the B flat is the one. All right. A whole step from there is your two. Now, all of these notes are going to sound good together because this is the major scale of B flat. All right. And your two right there is a C. OK, which is your two. Let's move it up. The next the next step, which is a whole step apart. That is a D. OK. The next step up is a half step because between, I want you to remember this, three and four is a half step. Seven to one is a half step. Okay. Remember that three to four is a half step. Seven to one is a half step. You remember that? You got it. You got it. So from the one, you got the one, a whole step up, meaning we're going to skip a fret. A whole step up is the C or the two. The three, which in this case is a D, a half step between the three and the four, because we're on our way to four, so it's just a half step. That's an E flat. Don't be scared of flats. They're okay. They ain't going to bite you. E flat. And then a whole step from there is F. That is the five. A whole step from there is G. That's the six. A whole step from there. Is the seven all right? And that seven is um, an A, okay? And then back to the one. We can work our way down. One, a half step to seven because it's a it's a half step between seven and one. Whole step to G, which is the six. Then a whole step to F, which is the five. Whole step to E flat which is the four then where are we going half step to the three which is a D a C note is at two back to one that's home base alright isn't it that isn't it that and that's just off the root um, being on the heavy E string, so that what they call, well, some folks would call it the top string, but some folks would call it the bottom string. Okay, the heavy E string, the heavy one, not the light one. That's the light one. But practice that. All right, practice that. Once you get it down on that string, practice it on this string. Those same rules apply, okay? We find home. Whole step. Two. Whole step. Three. Ho half step. Four. Whole step. Five. Whole step. Six. Half step. Oh, excuse me. Whole step to seven. Seven to one. Half step. I'm right back there again. <laughs> all right, so um, that's this 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 B flat. All right, let's take it up a notch. Listen, or how about this? Okay, look, you want to if you don't believe me? Okay, um, let's see what songs is in B flat. You can learn songs on one string. I gotta I gotta give this demonstration. Okay, songs are made of notes. All right, 
they're made of notes and they're made of root notes. And so with, when you're within a scale, um, let's see, what song is in B flat? Um, oh, one of my favorites, one of my favorites. How about uh, Clean Up? Uh, what is it? And all I'm doing is I'm doing this octave right here. I'm pinching the heavy E and the the uh, light E, I guess, light heavy. Um, I'm pinching both of these E notes, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually fretting the same notes, okay? I'm fretting the same notes. So we got... Then it's going to go... That's clean up. Y'all know that song by the Canton Spirituals. All right, but, but you can you can play any song. How about uh, let's see what else would be. I can't think of songs that's in key B flat. But anyway, you can play any song off of knowing that major scale. You you you're beginning to learn, and then what you do is you limit the possibilities. Now, because one thing that does make a learning guitar a challenge is when you think that you it's it's got to be when you think you got all of these options, which Technically, you do, but it's it's one through seven. So when you're trying to find certain chords, it's one through seven. It's got to be one through seven. It's got to be one of those notes within it. If it's not, then it's just a passing chord or a transition chord. All right. Look, don't be afraid to learn. You can learn. You're going to be able to play by ear. You're going to be able to because you want to. You have the desire. I believe that for you. All right. Um, let's let's begin to learn some chords. OK. Because along with knowing the notes, there are chords, all right? We need to be able to determine if it's going to be major or minor when the key of B flat, okay? B flat, the one will always be major. That one will always be major. So let me show you some shapes that I use, okay? Let me show you some shapes that I use that's going to be useful during this lesson. Excuse me. Um, you have this B flat. And I call this out of an A shape. That, that shape right there is like an A shape because many of us have learned this, what we call cowboy or open chord. That's an A, okay? And so I'm, I'm using this, but I'm actually happening to, to bar. Don't be afraid of bar chords, I'm telling you. If you practice this, it might be uncomfortable at first, but just continue. And all you, you have to hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it. So what I'm doing is I'm barring, and barring is fretting everything from that B flat or that A string all the way down on this first fret all right that's my root note that's my b that defines what this chord is okay that's the bottom and it defines what this chord is okay that's my root note all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna actually bar with my ring finger is the one i like to use some people will use their pinky but i like to use my ring finger and uh we can go from this uh d string down all right and those are the ingredients. Those that's that's how we're making this B flat here. All right, so this is a major shape. I want you to remember that this is a major shape. Okay, what else we're we gonna need? We're gonna need a minor shape. All right, I'm gonna teach you a minor shape. And now, if you stick around for this lesson, we're going we're gonna keep growing in this lesson, and we're gonna we're gonna build. Okay, and we're gonna learn some roots on the heavy E string instead of just the A string. All right, we're going to learn some roots. We're going to learn more chords. But for now, I want you to stick with this. All right, that's a major chord. Let's learn a minor chord. All right, to do a minor, some of you are familiar with this open A minor. All right, and we're going to slide it up. Because now some folks would call this A sharp, B flat, A sharp. But we're going to call it B flat today. Why? Because I said so. Somebody mad. Somebody mad. Somebody want to call it A sharp. I ain't mad at you. If you say so, I'm calling it B flat today, okay? Anyway, so we're going to do this B flat minor, even though that's not a part of B flat major key. Um, we're going to do this B flat minor just for the sake of showing you what that shape is. So I'm barring from this uh, A string down. All right, I'm doing that same bar I did with the B major. I mean, the B flat major. And I'm going to. Let's see, I'm going to put my middle finger on the B string of the second fret. My ring finger will go to the D string of the third fret. And then my pinky will go beneath that on the third fret of the G string. All right. 
That's a minor shape. Remember this shape, okay? Remember this shape. Now, just give you a, a good little quick little hint, and you're going to see me use it because this is a chord that I use more often. Um, is If you take that pinky off of it, you just made a minor seven, okay? All right, now, so we got two shapes that we need. We got a major shape and a minor shape, all right? We're going to continue this same pattern that we use. We just use it on one string in reference to our index being right here. Uh, in reference to our index being on this root note on the second, uh, I say the second string, on the A string. All right. We're going to reference that as to where we are. All right. So this is B flat major. Now, your major chords within the key are going to be one, four, and five. The one the four and the five will always be major. If you stick around, I'll show you some unique things about those. Um, the one, the four, and the five will always be major, okay? The one, four, and five will always be major. So let's go through those. The one, all right? The four. And the five will always be major. You see how those sound good together? I like to use this one. And listen, there is a plethora of songs in the key of B flat that will use those chords, all right? More than we can name. I'm keeping this same shape. I'm just moving it. And listen, at first, if you have to go to figure out, find out what it is, that's okay. Take your time. Learn. Pause this video. Rewind it if you need to, okay? So, wow. Dang. Or oh, how about the blues? How about the blues? The blues, remember this, okay? Because this is going to apply to any key. But once you find the key of what the, the blues that you're playing, the blues is one, four, five. So you can... That's the one. Then it's going to go to the four. Let's turn around on the five. To the four. One. All right, uh, all right, I went too far. I went too far. That was kind of off anyway. I should have did. Uh... All right, so real quick, let, let's let's have a quick commercial break. All right, quick commercial break. Listen, if you haven't already, you've been here almost nearly 20 minutes, okay? If you've been here and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hop in the comments. Let me know what key are we going to do next, all right? What key are we going to do next? What key are you interested in learning? Let me know. Is this helping you, okay? Let me know. Is there a specific song you're wanting to learn in the key of B flat? Um, uh, we, we got several on the channel. If you go through, you can search. Now, I don't actually list what key they're in, but there are several songs in the key of B-flat because I actually like the key of B-flat. It's one of my favorites. Um, Now, uh, back to action, okay? Back to action. So uh, just real quick for a learning lesson, real quick, all right? Because I, I, I actually messed it up. I wanna, And it's okay. I, I don't mind showing my imperfections on here because I am not an expert or professional by any means, all right? I'm just a guy who's picked up and started learning some guitar. And out of what I learned and the struggles I've had, I like to share so you don't have to struggle in the same way. All right. Um, so on a turnaround. OK, so we're going five to the four to the one. Four, one, five. So you got you a quick little blues lesson in here too, didn't you? All right. Once again, and you're going to hear this turnaround a lot in music. It probably sounds familiar to you already. So you're hitting the turnaround on your five to your four to your one. Five. Oh, excuse me. Scratch that. Y'all shouldn't be learning it anyway. No, nah, we can't give up. We can't give up. All right, so five. 
to you for? One. Four. One. Five. I know I snuck that five in. It's, it's the same as right there. All right. Gosh, man. Look, all, all my expert buddies finna, uh, they finna, they finna be picking on me in the comments. All right, so we learned the majors. Now let's learn the minors, okay? So we got... All right, we got one, which is a major. The two, the three, and the six will be minor. So remember that minor shape I taught you. All right. The three, and then the six is that... G minor. So we got C minor, D minor, G minor. All right, we just learned one through six. All right, let's let's get it all together. Seven is gonna be special, y'all. Hang on, we're gonna get seven. Seven is gonna be special. So we got B flat, C minor, D minor. E flat major, F major, G minor. Let's go back down. G minor, F major, E flat major, uh, D minor, C minor, B. Now let's count numbers. One, two. Three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. How about that? All right. How about that? All right. Now, look. Another thing we can get as we let's as we dig and you know dive deeper into the key of B. Um, and these rules apply to any key. Okay. Now what your one can be, your one can be a major seven. Can I show you this shape real quick? A major seven would be barring once again, but, uh, we're going to put our bird finger or our middle finger on the G string of the second fret. Then we're going to split, uh, with our ring finger. We're going to put it on, uh, the D string of the third fret. And then, excuse me, on the B string of the third fret is where we'll put our pinky. And so there we have a major seven shape. That is a major seven shape. So if you if you judge by the reference point of where your index is, which is this is a B flat, then you'll know that this is a B flat major seven. All right? You can play that four. See, that's real beautiful. So you'll hear this a lot in R&B, maybe some jazz. And can you just... Oh, that sounds good, y'all. So the one and the four can be major sevens. All right. This five, a unique chord that the five can be is a dominant seven. So and all I'm doing is from that major seven shape, I'm just going to take my ring finger off. That's a five. All right. That's a dominant seven. So it's got a real bluesy sound to it. How about that for exercise? Just walk that from the one to the four. This is real common. Walk it. And when I'm walking it, I'm just going my two, three, four. 
That's the one. Let's walk it. I don't even know what song this is. I walked it back down, I did. Four, three, two, one on that. That's one, two, three, four. Dot, dot. Three, two, one. Hey. Maybe we can get that timing down a little better. That time I skipped the three just to try to stay in time, okay? Play around with that however you want to make your own music. You can even throw that five in there. One more time. Ooh, always go back home. Change up a little bit. You can listen because we learned this key of B flat. You can, you got plenty of options. And then look, okay, so don't forget about the six down there. I think the six does good to the three to the two. That was the five. Ah. <laughs> Good. No, hold on. Look, look. One more time. One more time. Let's go to the six. So we're on the one. One B and B flat. Let's go to the six. Is that what we did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the two. Five. Let's let's let get that most more musical. Hold on, let me let me keep let me see. So, if you want to play lead on top of B, flat, major, all right, let me tell you, the easiest scale that you can learn, all right, will be the minor pentatonic scale. I say it's the easiest scale. You can learn. How about this? It's, it will be the most used scale. It'll be probably the most familiar with your ears. Um, And so, how, how you find how you want to do lead, because I know I know some of you, 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 you you'd rather play lead than rhythm. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But so in the key of B flat, the perfect scale to play lead on top of B flat, it'll, it'll work 90% of the time, probably 95% of the time, maybe even more than if you're in B flat. All right? The six. All right? And li listen, this applies to any key you're learning to play. If you know the one and you play the minor pentatonic scale of the six, you're on your way to playing lead on top of any song that's in that key. All right. So if I'm in B flat, this G minor, which is our six, is where I want to get our notes from. Now, if you look, that's the that's the first note of the G minor scale. That's the look. If that second note is actually a B flat, all right. And listen, this B flat. All right. 
Big Flag Once again Alright, let's start on the B flat Because that makes it B flat major pentatonic scale I don't want to I don't want to twist you up right there Just know that you can go to the 6 And play lead From the 6 uh, Pentatonic scale On top of the major Alright And the reason for that being is because the notes of the G minor pentatonic scale are the same as the B flat major pentatonic scale. So the one major pentatonic scale are the same, or the notes from the one major pentatonic scale will be the same from the six minor pentatonic scale. The only difference is the starting point, all right? So if you start on your B flat, that's going to be B flat major pentatonic scale. You start on your G, that's going to be G minor pentatonic scale, okay? Now, since you stuck around, all right, y'all probably wondering, what about the seven? What about the seven? Seven sometimes could be major, sometimes could be minor, all right? Um, but most oftentimes, it's diminished, okay? The seven is diminished. And I save this one for last because this is a very peculiar chord, okay? It's a very peculiar chord within the scale, okay? So, we got... B flat, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, it's a whole step to seven. Okay, so, but, so our seven root be right here. That's our seven root. Now we want to make a diminished chord, all right, to get to our one. Okay, and so we're going to make a diminished chord. Um, and what I like to do, if you make this major seven shape right here, if you make a major seven shape as if it were uh, from the 11th fret, the A fret down, all right? If you make that shape and you take your ring finger and you put it, Right there, all right? If you put it on the A string of the 12th fret. So if you got, if you're playing what we would call an A flat major seven, all right, I showed you that major seven shape, and that's with the root being right there on the 11th fret. If you take that uh, bird finger, don't be shooting, don't be shooting nobody no bird. You take that bird finger and you place it here. Keep that bar, and you place it here. That is a diminished chord. That's a diminished chord. And that will be an A diminished. And then it's just one fret from there. Alright? Now, some sometimes you'll see people uh, play this shape and they'll play it. Uh, excuse me, how do they play it? Alright. They'll play it. So that is my uh, middle finger on the A string of the 12th fret. I have my ring finger on the uh, 13th fret of the D string. Next is my index finger here 
my index finger is holding on the 11th fret of the G string and then my pinky is holding there on the excuse me I, I, I said there on the uh, 13th fret of the B string that is a diminished chord that diminished chord will work the same three frets up you hear how it, how it ends up right there perfectly you hear how it ends up right there perfectly once again I gotta You hear it? You hear how, how it really builds up nicely. Excuse me. How it builds up nicely. Mm -hmm. And you can use a diminished chord in between your minors. That sounds good. So a good little practice would be. Remember, take that bird finger and just move it up. To the two, do it again. To the three, All right? That diminish, go back. All right, and look, like I said, you can move it in three. So let's say if we were doing, go diminish, move it up three steps. Did I do that right? No. That, yeah, that was right. The key of B flat. Man, I hope this has been a blessing to you. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Um, it, it has to me. Look, if you're still here, let's jam a little bit. Y'all want to jam? You can work on that. Or whatever scale you want to. If you want to do a B uh, flat major scale. If you want to do a B flat major scale on top. Of what I would jam, do that. If you want to do that G minor scale we were talking about on top, let's do it. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Can we just play? Let's just play. Let's just play. We just got a few minutes, okay? All right, that's our key. We in B flat. All right, here we go. Two. Let's walk up to the three. Walk it back down. Walk it up.
Um, oh, I forgot. Look, if you're still here, guess what? You're going to make it away. I'm not a liar because I'm going to show you. <laughs> All right. So on, if, if the root is on the heavy E string, okay? If the root is on the heavy E string, let me show you this. All right. So you have this bar chord, okay? Now, there's actually two ways I can play some of these same notes. But uh, let's start. We have a bar. And this is our B flat on the E string. So we have a bar. And we're going to uh, bar the whole fret. All right. I'm going to put my... Uh, middle finger on the G string of the seventh fret. Yeah, that's seventh. Seventh fret, and then I'm gonna put my ring finger on the eighth fret of the A string, and then the D string. I'm putting my pinky finger. That's that major shape, and that's a B flat major. All right, to make my minor shape is very easy. Guess what? All you have to do, take your bird finger off. All right, so E major, that's our two minor, three minor, four major, five major. Get a little tight down there. I'm gonna make a minor seven. All right, this is also a minor. All right, so there you go. Now you got more arsenal, so you can do that. What I was doing. Oh, how about that? I like that. This F shape is also the same, and I'm using my my uh, index finger as an indicator. I can hang that thumb over here. My four. That's a major shape. Here's another way to make the minor shape. So I'm just I'm using my thumb to hang over and catch that.
that's that's all from from uh of the the six all right if i know my so if you're trying to get a little quartet drive going that's from that minor pentatonic scale we was talking about just a couple extra notes actually no you can Listen, I hope there's been a help to you. I hope there's been a blessing to you. You just have to filter through all, all of my mistakes. Filter through. Uh, I, look, I'm just sincerely me. I'm sincerely me. Um, and yeah, I could spend a little time editing and clipping. Um, but sometimes I think it's important that you see that everybody ain't perfect. Huh? Because when you think everybody is, won't it make you insecure sometimes? Y'all, I can't help it. The preacher come out of me every now and then. Um, but be flat, man. Be flat. Oh, that's a, that's a good key to learn. That's a good key to learn. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Uh, hey, we have 48 minutes now. Listen, make sure you hit that like button. Hop in the comments. Let me know how you feel about this lesson. Let me know what you would like to see in the next lesson. Um, and we'll try to incorporate some of those things through this channel. Okay, thank you all for your support. Thank you all for being here and helping us grow and develop and learn guitar. All right, y'all take care. May God add a blessing to your playing. All right, do it from the heart. I love you now. Bye-bye.